Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is another shotgun blast of random PvP, where I give you a shot glass of random invasions which were going to get canned because they didn't really fit into any series, as they were either too short, too simple, or there wasn't enough of what they were to become a full series. And this very first fight is between a dude in the Belfry who's wearing some pretty swag gear, and we're trading hexes, trading slashes, and it's all over the place. But back to the Dragonary. Here's a dude wearing the Drake Keeper gear. He's got what I assume is a Chaos Blade, and he's got Resonant Weapon on it back when it was really dominant. He goes in for the running attack. I punish it with a roll backstab. It takes off massive damage. I go for the wake up, but can't quite find it. Out come the hexes. Can't quite land the swing, but chasing anyway. I think I remember this fight too. Go for a little bit of a fancy move to try and hit him. Wait for him to roll so I can punish his roll, but can't quite manage to land with the slower weapon here, which... Chasing with a slow weapon can be very, very frustrating. The best thing to do with the Marakumo is to one-hand it, because it has the wider swings. I think I'm going to try and do that now. Go for the parry. He goes for the backstab. Rolls. Rolls again. I commit way too much there, but somehow don't get punished. I wonder if that was a buffered input if I was just playing bad. And both of those things happen frequently. But a lot of rolling, a lot of stamina being poorly used. I think that right there, I was under the impression I had the Forbidden Sun on, but I had the Fire Whip on, and I get hit by the, the Hex and destroyed appropriately. But here's the Misdirection build. This is a person you've seen me fight already. He's a guy hosting in the Belfry. That was unusual. I was trying to backstab him and I couldn't quite get it to work. He heals, I punish it with a hex, he dies very quickly. Oh, this is interesting. This is when I was trying to... to get some backstep parry practice in. And I wasn't getting any invasions at that moment, so I decided to just swap my gear out and try and get some standard ones, and as soon as I did, I ended up running into a lot of people. And this was one of them. And I really like the Undead Crypt, but I don't get the traffic I feel like I would if I could connect to people better. And this dude pulls his shield out, so the first thing you want to think is he's going to try for a parry. So you'll notice I go to try and backstab him, but he doesn't, which, to his credit, is, is pretty awesome. But I can't quite tell if he has a lot of life or a lot of armor, or I'm just weak, but this seems to be taking longer than you would expect. He pulls out the staff to fire some hexes. I'm hitting him, it's not registering, it's, it's kind of crazy, who knows what's happening there. But back in the belfry, back up against a, a spellcaster. He's wearing the Dragon Rider helmet and he looks like he's got... Ooh, Jesus Christ. That is some serious pain. And a lot of people do this in, in the Belfry. I have no idea why you would come here to fight when you know you can't heal as an invader and then play Ring Around the Roses on the Pillars. It just doesn't make sense. If you were a host, at least you could try and heal. But at that point, you're just kind of delaying the inevitable, really, unless you have some trump card like a wog. A wog would work perfectly in that situation, but he didn't seem to have it. But now we're in the Shrine of Omana. This guy's got a Black Knight Halberd with either Sunlight Blade on it, or some kind of, of lightning from the Pine Resin. His weapon really hurts, and we do a big trade there. And if you look at the damage I do compared to the damage he does to me, trading with this character, not a smart idea. But in the heat of the moment, you know, when you're trying to get some invasions... I don't really let it bother me. I'm curious, is it his fire defense, do you think, or maybe he's a higher level? That's the thing that makes this game a little bit more frustrating for me than, than Dark Souls was, where I, I could generally tell what type of player I was up against by his armor set or by his the damage that he receives. On this game, you can never really tell if it's you or them. And that might be my inexperience, but it's just, ooh, unlucky. That's the difference between Sunlight Spear right there and, and Great Resonance Soul. But this is taken from very early on when I was going for all the Dragon Bridge stuff. I'm in good old No Man's Landing, coming up against a, a massively armoured Vestalt, Havel, and I have no idea why he stood still then when he got up. I, I expect he thought he might have been dead, but who knows. Ooh, Fight Club. So this is something I don't understand. Uh, we have here a couple of really skilled players hanging around looking for fights and opponents, but the fucking Phantom is stood in lock-on range, interfering with the fight. So to me, absolutely baffling why he would do that. 
just doesn't make sense and it further elucidates why I feel that this bridge is a terrible location to do this kind of combat. That being said, this was a really fun fight and I wasn't expecting it, which makes it even more delicious. The problem with it is, if you're gonna do any kind of fight club or any kind of competition against somebody who is a good player, you need to at least have an offhand something in my experience and I just didn't have that at this point so I couldn't mix up what I was doing so I become the generic katana guy and I hate feeling like I'm doing the same moves on this game I hate feeling like I do that on any game really but it, you notice it more in in the soul series because you are limited in your move set but if you notice this guy is using I can't quite tell what dagger it is because it's buffed he has the monastery scimitar and he's got really light armor so you can tell he's looking to challenge himself and he's looking to, to play Slightly different to some of the people you might come up against. We trade a few knives. I try and catch him on a running attack, but his moves quicker than mine. He gets that frame advantage, and he wins. It was a good fight, and then the Phantom bows, because they're just a bunch of people who want to fight. You know, there's no pretense like me and this guy here. <laughs> when he comes into my world, wants to buff his giant anvil, and I effectively tell him to fuck off. 